Concrete and ground movement sometimes do not mix, especially in the case of a swimming pool. A pool can crack under the conditions of ground movement due to different types of soils, lack of moisture, erosion, or natural problems such as tree roots. When these types of conditions exist, pools will crack. When a crack or movement in the structure happens, it may be necessary to perform repairs such as this. Pool Bond by Emicol addresses these cracks using a Kevlar staple and urethane foam injection process. In this video, you will see hands-on how our process works. Step 1. Visibly assess the crack. Watch for moisture seeping from the crack, roots, insects crawling through the crack, and other potential leak problems that may exist. Step 2. Identify the most ideal places to install the Kevlar staples, starting 4 inches below the tile line and working 20 inches between staples. Trace each staple once established where the staples are going to go. Step 3. Put on your respirator and goggles. Using a grinder with a masonry blade, cut through the plaster where the outline is. Using a 1 and 1 8 inch masonry core bit, drill holes 1 and 1 quarter inch on either end of the staple outline. Then chip in between board holes using a 1 inch bit on a chipping hammer. Step 4. Clean the area with compressed air. Place the staple and check to make sure that it is recessed at least a quarter of an inch below the plaster. Fill up both holes with epoxy as well as a liberal layer in the chipped away area. Press the staple into the epoxy. Apply a thin layer over the top and smooth out any excess and wipe off with a wet cloth. Wait 15 to 30 minutes. Step 5. Place ports along the crack, 8 to 12 inches apart, using two-part epoxy. Cover the entire crack with the same epoxy as well as the base of the ports. Allow to set up for 15 to 30 minutes or until epoxy is hard. Once the epoxy is set up, force water through each port. This checks for spots of the crack that may not be sealed and also to provide enough water for foam to react with. If leaks are found, recover them with epoxy. Then recheck for leaks. If you don't find any leaks, then continue on to the next step. Step 6. Attach mixing tube and hose assembly to the pool bond urethane foam tube set. Insert the tube set into the two-part injection gun, otherwise known as a jake gun. 
Squeeze the trigger until the urethane foam goes through the mixer and into the tube set. Pinch the hose using the white clamp on the hose assembly. Insert the hose assembly at the base port of the crack and begin injecting the crack by gently pulling the trigger. Monitor the flow of material by watching the tension bar located at the back and center of the jake gun behind the spring. Once the tension bar is back to the beginning position, pull the trigger again. Repeat this process until the pressure is high or you see material coming from the next port or through the epoxy. Repeat this for each port until all ports have been successfully injected. Step 7. Allow urethane foam to set up for 30 to 45 minutes, or until dry to the touch. Step 8. Begin cleanup of the crack by breaking off ports and sanding the epoxy off. Use at least a 36 grit sanding pad for a 4 to 4 and a half inch grinder. Always use proper safety equipment, such as a respirator and goggles. Sand all epoxy and foam off of the crack, making it as clean as when you arrive. Step 9. Saw cut over the entire length of the crack, at least a quarter of an inch into the crack. Fill in the saw cut with a plaster, matching the existing plaster to the best of your ability. Once complete, begin filling the pool to normal operating levels. 